Ooh, is it slimy? Ooh, it's slimy. Ooh, it's less cool. It is so less cool now. Hey, Vivats, I'm back. How in the heck are you? Have you missed me? Have you been craving hearing that greeting as much as I've missed saying it? Because if you have or answered yes to any of those questions, then do I have a surprise for you. Back by popular demand and a desperate need for Jen to continue doing what she loves, we give you the great big toy box. Again. Yes, folks, it's true. I've decided to continue on with the reviews you've been missing as well as those you've been requesting over on the newly created Great Big Toy Box channel, where you'll be able to get all the honesty you need in order to make informed decisions before you spend your hard-earned money. But fear not, my friends, because Next Gen isn't going anywhere. No. I worked hard on my revamp and I like it here. I'm enjoying all the retro reviews of things like the 1962 Barbie Dream House, as well as sharing different collections I have with you, like my Polly's and other things that I can't remember right now, but there's a lot over there on the shelves that I haven't even got to yet, so we can't leave. It's it's not even a possibility. There's just too much to share. And it really seems like you guys enjoy those as well. Also, I'm going to continue on with crafts and random video game reviews because they bring me a sense of calmness in this crazy time, and I'll also be checking out different dolls or collectibles that adults can enjoy because even though I truly believe we should be able to collect whatever we want, apparently that's not a thing. Or according to some thing somewhere. I, I don't know, that one got away from me, but the point is I'm not going anywhere. So in the end, what you're actually getting is two channels, both of which will have the honest fun gen you've come to enjoy. Great Big Toy Box, which will for the most part have disabled comments since the content is gonna be more kid interesting, but we like to follow the rules and that's a good thing. But also I would like to point out in case I didn't make it clear that just because you enjoy those videos, you should not go from there to here just to comment to me about them. Unfortunately, that's not how this works. And of course, Next Gen, which is gonna have all the comments available on every video eventually. This channel is for these videos and these comments, and that channel is just gonna be for straight up reviews and entertaining you, but unfortunately you won't be able to comment. So if you've been missing all the hey bots, then follow the link in the description and subscribe to me, Jen, at the Great Big Toy Box, or the new Great Big Toy Box. And then of course, stay subbed here, because it's pretty fun here too, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Except maybe whatever that weird eye twitch was. <laughs> Anyways, now that I have shared all that information and you can see how um, I'm starting to lose track of myself and my thoughts, we're gonna move on to today's video, which is gonna be a new thing uh, that I've never seen before. You might have, depending on how many days you've spent on YouTube, I don't judge, okay? It's a weird world that we're in now because who would have thought sitting on your couch and not doing anything at all would become socially responsible? I'm feeling mighty good about myself right now. Anyways, on to today's video. We're gonna be checking out a new doll line called the Itty Bitty Pretties, brought to us by Zuru. And they sent me this massive box. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize how heavy it was. And they sent it to me for free so that I could check it out and give you guys this review and all of my weird honest feedback as I so usually do. However, I'm quickly discovering um, it's not gonna fit on camera. So we're gonna have to do something else. But first, it's a blue box. It says Itty Bitty Pretty's Tea Party Surprise on all four sides, and it's wrapped in a giant pink bow. There's a tag that says you're invited to, and then there's like question mark stickers. So now I need to find out what I'm invited to. I'm assuming it's a tea party, since the sides say tea party. Oh. That is so cool. Oh, I didn't know, oh, it's noisy. I didn't know it's gonna be decorated. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, it's too big. <laughs> inside it says the ultimate tea party. So technically the outside said you're invited to and inside it says the, oh, oh my gosh. Just trust me, it says the ultimate tea party. And there's pink streamers. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm determined. The struggle is real. Can you see them? There's two cute little, characters and some teapots or teacups or both. There's both. Inside the box, there's gold streamers. A lot of them. Woo! And then there's stuff you can't see. If I had known, <laughs> this would be so difficult. I would have planned it better. I'm sorry, guys. We have some very thin pink tissue paper, which is glued to a giant teacup. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. How do I get it off? Oh. 
I appreciate <laughs> the decorations, but this is a little tricky. So I'll clean this off on my own, but we have a giant teacup and we'll take a better look at it in just a sec because there's more things in here. We have a tissue paper wrapped thingy gift. It says she's the queen bee. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, oh, can you see? Wow. Oh, snap. How am I going to hold this in my hair? Oh, I should add a thingy. Wow. I am a royalty. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is gorgeous. I'm going to take it off for just a few minutes until I find a way to secure it to my head in the form of some kind of elastic, which I can bobby pin to my head. Next, we have an itty bitty pretties teacup. And I believe this is the regular sized itty bitty pretty doll. And this one is probably the their biggest. Oh, looks like we have another. So we actually have two. And then we've got another tissue paper wrapped surprise. Oh, snap. That's really cool. Ooh, I get, <laughs> I get a scarf. This is gonna make my microphone sound a little muffly. I have to tuck it into my shirt. Just pretend it looks uber fancy. Next, we have another tissue wrapped surprise. And this one says get perfect style. This is a really fun way to wrap a gift. I think I might do this from now on. Just put everybody's present in one box. Well, I guess it's the exact same as if you were to put it in a gift bag. But if all the things were themed to create the thing that you, yeah, just, just whatever. Anyway, so we've got some black and gold sequined cat ears as a headband. And oh, actually, hold on a second. Oh, and they're double sided so I can have pink. Ooh. And I think there are only two more surprises. This one says, get ready for the Murwalk. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. <gasps> wow. It's a blue holographic clamshell. Is it a mirror though? Oh, it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How am I looking? Oh my God. Oh, not really sure I'm pulling off this scarf, but the, the ears are pretty spiffy. <laughs> And I think we have only one more surprise. Uh oh, I feel glasses. <laughs> I won't be able to see very well once I try these on, so don't make fun of me. And the sticker says, oh, so glam. Oh my gosh, those ones are really wrapped. Oh, <gasps> wow. They're really mixing all their blings here. Got sequins, gold, hollow, and diamonds. Let's see how am I, how am I looking? I bet you it's fantastic. Let me just get this off of me. Hello, darling. <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh gosh, I hope I remembered to record this. I should probably check that, hold on. Okay, I did. Good, 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 good. Okay. Hello, darling. <laughs> Those are nice. All right, I'm gonna quickly tidy up just a smidge because there's a lot of confetti happening all up in this region. <laughs> and then we'll move on to the main attractions. Okay, <laughs> that was a weird pause. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. They fell off. Uh, that's a good enough sign for me to go. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't find something to attach the tiara to my delicate head and the headband kept falling off. So we're gonna skip those, but I will still wear the scarf and pop these sunglasses into my hair since I can't wear them on my face. And although I'm sure it's not exactly what they had in mind when they sent all this fun stuff, I think I'm still ready to join the Zuru Tea Party. Since it's in my hand, and since it's so huge, I decided we are gonna open up the giant surprise because if we wanna get a good indicator of what this line is going to include, chances are it's gonna be in this cup right here, which is a pinkish red color. On top, we have a transparent lid, and through that, we can see a minty green and white swirled top with a pink plastic spoon. The entire cup is wrapped in a label that shows some of the dolls that you're gonna be able to collect. On the front, it says Itty Bitty Pretties, brought to us by Zuru with over 25 surprises inside. On the back it says stir open the giant teacup to discover the most epic tea party ever. We're going to dissolve some magic tea bags and fizz surprise cubes to find so many surprises. And that means I'm going to need some water which I'm not prepared with so mental note Jen get some water. We're going to unbox dress and style our itty bitty pretties to get them ready for the ultimate tea party. You gotta get fancy like me. And then all up in this region here it shows what's going to be inside this playset and that there are going to be 13 beautiful dolls to collect in this series. Um, yeah, since I apparently need water, I'm going to go get that and then we can switch down to the table and start opening. <sighs> All right, let's find the tear strip, which just happens to be right here. And fingers crossed, I don't screw it up. We begin. No, <laughs> who puts tape on the tear strip? Uh, hold on, try that again. We begin. 
Ooh, success. Oh, wait, what? It's underneath the handle. Well, there you go, that's our cup. It's still hard to tell what the actual color is. It's like a really dark coral color, but through the camera lens, it looks red. So I don't know, you're gonna have to judge it for yourself if you ever see it in person. I'm gonna take off the top plastic piece and reveal our pink plastic spoon. And there's a tag on it that says, itty bitty pretties, you're invited to a different kind of tea party. And on the back, there's little instructions. We stick this in the top swirl and stir our tea to open the actual teacup. Okay, let's do this. We've got our teal or minty green and white swirl and there is an opening here just in front of the handle where we will insert according to the directions our spoon so I'm gonna spin it clockwise it's stuck spin it counterclockwise what's happening it's still stuck <laughs> Oh, I got it. Oh, did I break it? I hope not. Inside, we've got stuff. A lot of stuff. Oh, they're all attached. Am I supposed to grab it out of the top? I guess so, because I'm going to. So we have our first bag. It's that same questionable pinkish red color with question marks and a faceless girl. And we've got a second one. They feel pretty much the same. And then we've got more stuff that I can't remove. Do we push anything? There's a little button here. Okay, I guess now we can open up this little pink tea bag on the side. Ooh, that's pretty cute. So let's take out this plastic piece. And then a teapot fell out. It is the same questionable color, but with a bright pink lid. And we have surprises inside. Oh, they're really packed in there. Oop, one, two, two sugar cubes three, four. So in total, we have four blind bags, white and yellow, white and pink, white and purple, and then that same strange red color and white. And we also have two sugar cubes. One is yellow with red glitter, yay. And the other is pink with gold glitter. So excited. Put the lid back on our teapot, and there we go. It's all ready. It says itty bitty pretties on the front. It's got a little tea bag hanging down. Whoop, dropping stuff. Next, we have two larger blind bags, another of those red and white ones, and then a black and white one. This little collector guide fell, and we'll look at that in just a second, because I found a little teacup, and it's really cute. It's the same color as everything else, and says itty bitty pretties again, and oh, it's got two blind bags inside, and they're blue and white. Put that over there, and move on to what I think is the last items, possibly, which are little fancy white saucers, and they've got frilled edges and little sections in the center for the dolls to stand. Can those sit on them? Oh snap, they do. The little teacup fits right on top of it. Perfect, double function. All right, moving on to the actual playset. Inside of the giant teacup, we have what looks like maybe a fashion room because there are different mirrors and clothing items and stuff like that. And then, and then on this wall, it could be a bedroom. Oh, it could be falling. Technically, you can make them be whatever you want them to be because there are no rules. But off to the sides where the actual playset closes, they have made the little jibber that sticks inside the other jibber look like speakers. It's almost like you've got a stereo. It doesn't stay open very well well unless you fold it into each other like you can't hold it open wide like that and then right here we've got some pieces of colorful cardboard with question marks on them which leads me to believe there are surprises behind and I'm gonna leave those till later wait a minute do these floors move oh they do to what end I'm going exploring right now can you put them up there there's no rule that says I can't I can make a floor for the dolls Look at me learning. So I'm gonna slide those back there for now since I know that they actually go there. And we'll move on to the collector's guide. Here are the 13 different dolls you can collect in this series. And that one there appears to be wearing the sunglasses they sent me, so that's pretty cool. And then down at the bottom, we have their names, but it also looks like these four are exclusives to this giant cup playset. But we only got two of the dolls in blind bags. So unfortunately, if you want to get all four exclusives, you'll need to buy the expensive playset multiple times. Now, I wonder if there's just two different versions, like these two in one, these two in one, or if they sometimes put these two and these two, or even these two and these two. This could get expensive, especially if you like to collect full sets. So the small teacup playset is going to retail for $9.99 US, which means it's probably going to be about $15 or $16 here in Canada. And then the larger teacup, this big playset right here, is is going to retail for $29.99 in the US, which means it's probably gonna be more like $45 to $50 here in Canada. But in other news, there's also 
also a super rare one, and her name is Royalty. On the back, we can see all the instructions that we need to know, open everything, and take it all out, which includes those little cardboard gibbers that I was leaving, so I guess we're gonna open those now. All right, first side has a yellow blind bag and a cute little tea bag. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. It's white with little pink teapots and swirls and stars and spoons on it. I'll just put that back for no reason. And on this side, we have the exact same thing. Another yellow blind bag and another little tea bag. Back to the instructions. Let's go ahead and open those blind bags and set this up the way it was supposed to be done. But I wanna point out, I wouldn't have known that unless I read the instructions first. I guess most people would, so that that's fair. Okay, so if I did this properly, I was gonna say I would have opened blank blind bag first. However, it doesn't show you which bag to open to find these. You would just have to feel them up. So. I felt this one up and I think it's, I think it's right. So that's what I'm going with. And I was right. So we just take those and stick them under there. And Viola, we've got ourselves a cute little table. Perfect. And for no reason, I'm just gonna stick that there. Next, we take our little plates. I'm gonna go with this pink one next. I wish they were numbered. <laughs> I just look like I'm crazy. I can't figure out how to do things. Oh, these are cute. Based on the picture, I thought it was gonna be like a cupcake pan, but it looks like we're meant to pop these off. I certainly hope so, because I just started. Give us little dishes for the dolls. So we've got two. They're not equal. This is bothering me. <laughs> I thought we had two large hearts and then two smaller hearts to put on them, but we don't. They're all different sizes, or at least so far. So we've got a big one, a medium one, another medium one, and a little one. Then we've got a couple different sizes, styles, and shapes of muffin cups, little tart trays, and although it may be hard to see, little waffle bowls. And because I've already started messing up the order of things, I'm just gonna open whatever I want. So I'm gonna go with one of the yellow bags. Woo! And we're dropping stuff. And inside, we've got some transparent glasses with thick black rims and silver studs. And if they weren't clear, I'd say they look remarkably like the ones I was sent, which is kind of cool. <laughs> we also get a very, very glittery silver tiara. And it looks like it's supposed to be stars, but to be honest, it's all kind of just clumped together and sort of not symmetrical. And that's bothering me. Does that bother anybody else? Probably not. Does it come off? No. Well, at least it's got that going for them. Our next yellow blind bag has a pair of gold, very thick rimmed cat eye glasses, and they're hollow. You can stick your finger right through, as well as a black cat eared headband with some silver glitter on the insides. And is it coming off? No, that's awesome. Once again, very similar to what I was sent. Based on those two sets of accessories, I'm gonna say we have ginger tea and chai chai. That's kind of cool, but dang it, I wanted sugar Q. She's so cute. Now, because I have a very large mess going on over there, I'm going to tidy up a bit. <laughs> Let's just, let's just do that. Put those here. Oh, that doesn't fit on there. All right, put that there. This is a lot of one color. I kind of wish there was a few more colors going on, but okay. Let's just put the tea bags in the cup until we're ready for the water. And we'll put the sugar cubes on that plate and move on to the next blind bag. And I'm gonna go ahead and open the two blue bags, but not that way. Okay, oh, okay, what the heck is that? Zoomed in so you guys can see. So we've got this really sweet little crystal kitty here. And it's transparent with some silver embedded glitter and a really cute sculpt. So there's individual strands of hair, pointy little ears, cute little muzzle, little paws, and a tail. And the painting on her eyes is really clean. And I'm not seeing any scratches at all. However, my nails have seen some better days. But good news, folks, they are slowly growing back. And that, oh, dropped it. <laughs> And that cat came with some accessories like this little yellow yarn mug, as well as some fish bones, little bows, and some balls of yarn. And you just pop them off like that. Moving on to the next blue bag. Ooh, so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just got a new love for frogs. <laughs> Once again, it has embedded silver glitter. And although it might look as though the crown or tiara is clear, it's actually not. You can sort of see it when I turn it. It is also that same green color. It's just a lot thinner. And once again, the paint for the eyes looks really crisp and it's just adorable. Look at those little feet. <laughs> just like the cat, the frog also comes with its own accessories, which includes a teacup. And all of these are a pastel pink color. The teacup is really cute and it sort of looks like flower petals at the top with little hanging gems and jewels. And the other items are gems, jewels, and stars. Next, we'll move on to the reddish blind bag. 
where we've got a pastel pink hairbrush. It says itty bitty pretties on the back. It's a little hard to see. And it's got long spiky bristles. And we've also got a small little teapot. Does the lid come off? It does. Fill up the little teacups. I guess these are for the dolls. Very, very cute. This is starting to look very messy, but we're not gonna focus on that because we have two dolls to open. So let's open them. Ooh, first up, ooh, a lot of pink hair. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Here is our first doll. She is super, super cute. She's got a light brown skin complexion with loads of cotton candy pink hair. Oh my gosh. It is curly, so long, and beautiful. And it doesn't appear to be shedding, which is fantastic. We've got two little buns on top of her head. It is bothering me slightly that they are uneven, but that's a me thing. And in the back, we can see tons of rooting. However, down here, because of the way it was sitting in the blind bag, it is flattened out and you can see some of those bald spots. So we're gonna have to mess with it a bit to get that to blend in better. Her face and makeup look so, so cute. And I'm not noticing any defects, which makes me really happy. She's got black eyebrows, big, thick, bold mascara, a little black dot on her nose, as well as black whiskers and pink lips. Her eyes are a gold glitter and her eyeshadow is a silver glitter. And I'm really happy to announce that it is not coming off on me. So it's very nice secured to her face. She's got a little smirk too. I don't even know if you can see this, but it's really cute. Moving the hair aside, we can see that her ears have holes, so we get to give her earrings, I'm assuming. And moving down to her body, she comes wearing a black bathing suit or undersuit, which goes all the way around to the back, as well as white fishnets. And each arm is in a different position. So the left one is for the most part sticking out with a slight bend at the elbow, and the right one is bent at the elbow with her hand sort of in a waving position. And they both rotate completely around. And the legs look different from any doll I've personally owned. So they rotate all the way around, sort of on a ball joint, but they also have flexibility side to side on this little hinge. I don't actually know if there's a specific term for this type of joint, but that's what it is. And she's so cute. I can't wait to dress her. Wait, who was this? According to the checklist, it is Chai Chai, which means the cat ear headband belongs to her. And so do the glasses. Oh my gosh, she's just getting cuter. So let's add her to the mess and then we can move on to the second doll. Whoa, that's a lot of red hair. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, she's wearing white gloves. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Oh, she's got such long hair. So many O's. Wow, it's so red. Or orange, sorry, it's so, so orange. Let's zoom in for the close-up so we can give her a better look. Okay, so here is Ginger T. Was that her name? Ooh, good guess, Jen. She is the exact same height as Chai Chai, which I forgot to mention is basically like three and a half to four inches tall. She's got a very light skin complexion with tons of orange hair. As I may have mentioned a time or two, just like Chai Chai, it is full and thick and Although it's a bit unruly, it is not shedding. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of retraining of the hair to make it stay out of the way. And we'll start with her bangs, which are really long. Move them out of the way so that we can see her face and makeup. And once again, it looks really good. I'm not seeing any scratches or defects in the paint, which makes me really happy. And it looks really crisp and clean. Although she looks a bit more sad somehow than Chai Chai did. So Ginger Tea comes with some light brown, almost orange eyebrows, that same silvery glitter eyeshadow, thick black mascara, glittery blue eyes, and an orangey pink neon lipstick with just the slightest amount of rouging on her cheeks. And let's give it the good old thumb rub. And I am happy to announce that once again, the glitter is very nicely adhered to her face. She comes wearing a light pink bodysuit and pearly white gloves and has the same amount of articulation as the first doll, which I still find really, really cool. But she's not wearing anything on her legs. I'm gonna go ahead and add her stuff. Tiara, and here's her fancy shades. A little tricky to get both on since we don't have so much space behind the ears, but there she is. She looks really cute, but I'm pretty sure other than the glasses, I'm digging Chai's look much better because that tiara is just hideous. They still need outfits. The outfits could be terrible. We don't know yet. So let's find out. Now we'll move on to the tea bags. And in order to get these to dissolve, you have to put them in warm water, which I have prepared here in my teapot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. Oh, that was instant. No, I wanted you guys to be able to see that a bit more. Okay, 
Did you see it? It happened. Oh wait, I guess you might've been able to see it a bit better on that side to begin with. What is that made out of? That is so cool. Ooh, is it slimy? Ooh, it's slimy. Ooh, it's less cool. It is so less cool now. Barf. Oh, it feels so gross in there. Why did I touch it again? Ugh. Once you dissolve your accessories, which in this case is a little dress and a pair of shoes, you wash them off so that they don't stay sticky. But since I already have this sticky water already ready, we might as well just go ahead and dissolve the second bag. Oh. That happened really quickly. Ooh, she comes with more. Don't look yet, they're not clean, okay? Ooh, feels so gross. All right, that is everything. I'm gonna quickly wash up and then we'll check out what they got. All right, I am back. And let me tell you, it takes a decent amount of work to get it clean. Like I had to use a scrub brush because it's so sticky and slimy on the inside. It's sort of just stuck there, but it was easier to get it off of the accessories. Excluding these shoes. Not sure if you can see that in there, but there's a pileup of pink slime just under the strap. So my new plan is to squish some paper towel in there. And now we can check out what we got and dress them. First up, we have Chai Chai's dress. It's a black glittery fancy number with a white front piece that has three little black buttons and a black bow tie, as well as a golden belt. And unfortunately the black glitter is already coming off. And I'm not exactly certain how long it's gonna last on the actual clothing piece. But for now, it looks okay. And it goes on in the exact same way that the LOL's clothes do. I'm just slipping it on the front because there are openings on the back. Still very cute. Might have to seal it with Mod Podge. <laughs> Next up we have her shoes, which are white with two little pom-poms and a strap across the front and a covered heel in the back. They kind of just look like slippers. And it doesn't look as though they have specific right and left feet. So I'm just gonna put them on either. And now, since she's wearing shoes, we should be able to get her to stand on the plate. Now it's time for Ms. Ginger Tea. And she comes with this very tiny double strand pearl necklace. So let's try to get that on her. It was actually easier than I thought it would be. And she had a few more pieces to her, which includes this really fancy piece. I don't even know what it is, but it's kind of like a showgirl outfit. So the top is made up of pearls and that includes the chest region as well as the stomach. And then these four strands across the shoulders. And then the bottom skirt is a pastel pink, which opens in the front and has two rows of ruffles as well as iridescent glitter. And it appears to be sticking much better than the black glitter did. I'm not sure if this is meant to be separated or if it's meant to be attached because this side is attached and I can't get it on her. It doesn't fit over her arm. So I'm thinking it's supposed to be unattached. So I just ripped it, I don't know. Hopefully it's not gonna be too loose now. Since those pearls are there and there are big gaping holes, I was worried that it was gonna be really see-through, which I'm not a fan of on dolls that resemble children. But luckily she's wearing that bodysuit. So even if you look really closely, you only see more pink. She also comes with this accessory here. It has six rows of ruffles and it starts off white and ombres its way down to that pastel pink that matches her outfit. And then the straps are fake pearls. At first I thought it was a cape, but after looking at the picture, I quickly discovered it was meant to extend the back of her skirt. And lastly, we have some silver boots and they've got a bunch of buckles and straps around the top as well as some black laces. Add those to her feet and then she'll be done. And there you have it folks, Ginger Tea. She's cute, but I feel like she's too overcrowded. Next we're gonna move on to our sugar cubes. We've got pink and yellow, both of them have glitter, super excited. And all we have to do is add them to the cup, which is now clean and pour in some warm water. However, as I tried to open these, I'm actually unshaping them because they're crumbling. So I recommend using scissors. Okay, the first one is ready. So let's add our water. I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to see from this angle, but I'm gonna do my best. Once these disintegrate, we're supposed to have some accessories to wash off and add to our dolls. That just turned it to powder. That is a lot of fizz. It's very bright yellow and that is a lot of glitter, but I do like the sizzle. What does it smell like? It just smells like a bath. I'm going to take out my accessories. We have two silver earrings and you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one in. We're just gonna get some weird orange color. It's okay. And this one stayed together, so that's cool. Ooh, it's so foamy add some fresh water to make it fizz a little higher. When it stays in the cube, it lasts a lot longer. Okay, I found the first piece and 
What else is in there? I feel like I'm fishing. All right, and we have a second earring. All right, I'm gonna go clean these off, clean this up, and then stick in their earrings. I'll be back in a flash. All that is clean. Let's get out of the way. There's glitter all over my table. I am thrilled, you can tell. You can hear it in my voice. By the way, I don't hate glitter. I think it's beautiful, I just hate it touching me. Uh, yeah, and now we can give our dolls some earrings. And we'll start with Chai Chai. I'm assuming these are hers because they're cat things and everything she had was a cat thing. So we've got a black fish skeleton on one ear and a little golden ball of yarn on the other. I really wish they matched because it would have been much cuter that way, but still pretty adorable. And then Ginger T has these teardrop gem-shaped earrings with three stars underneath each one. So there's one, and there's the other. Once again, very cute, but I still feel like she's got too much going on. But either way, she's ready to go back inside the playset. And now, because I don't plan on brushing their hair today, we can add our pets. I don't know who goes with who, but they're adorable. Give them the cups and we're gonna move on to the last three blind bags, which are the yellow, purple, and pink ones. And I'm gonna start by opening up the yellow one. We've got some scented cloud dough. And I whoop, love the Zuru cloud dough or cloud slime or whatever it is. It just, I don't know, it just, it's so soft. It feels like gum and cotton candy in one. And this one here smells like lemon soap. And although it might be hard to tell, there is glitter in it because somebody at this factory thought that would be a great idea. So with this dough here, we can pop off some of the little containers and then make little desserts for the tea parties. Next up we have the pink. Whoa. This one has a bunch of silver glitter inside it. And oh, it smells so good, like strawberries. So, so good. I'm gonna take a tiny little piece off and add it to the top, like there's a little cherry. So cute. And then I'm gonna change that yellow one to a pink treat. And I don't know if this is what they're for or not, but I'm gonna use them for decorations, because it works. At this point, the dolls are able to have their own little tea party, and it all tucks away inside this playset, which is very, very cool. The only problem so far that I'm having is that there's no way to store this dough after. So I'm not gonna open the purple right now because I really don't want it all to dry out on me. In fact, I don't know if this stuff dries out. I always just store it in a container. So that's my plan again, is to put it inside of Ziploc bags, but it would have been really neat if there was a container in here that had a closing lid. Other than that, very, very cool. Personally, my favorite things so far of this playset are that there are functioning pieces, such as this table becoming the top of the set, and that we can actually use the items they've given us in pretend play, as well as having functioning pieces in the form of the plates being the doll stands, and they stand on their own by the way, and that they actually fit underneath the cup still because they created that dent in there to make sure that it could. And the quality of the dolls and all the accessories are very, very good. Also, how stinking cute are these? And it doesn't hurt that it comes with my favorite type of dough slash slime or whatever you wanna call this. Now, I'm gonna quickly tidy all of this up and see if I can get it to fit back inside the playset, and then we will reconvene at the chair in a moment. Just like that, a girl that I can't see, but is looking fine, I hope, <laughs> with her giant cup of tea. Let's just ditch those, take that off, and uh, Maybe go a little bit back <laughs> to normal. All right, there you go. That is the end of that. Well, at least the end of the large play set for the itty bitty pretties. This was actually really great and I would highly recommend picking it up if you're interested in any of the stuff that you saw inside it. Now, unfortunately, it did take quite a long time to get through everything that was in there, which means I do not have time to open these today. Although I really wish I did because she is super cute and I wanna see what the difference is between these and those. So I'm gonna say them and open them another day on the Great Big Toy Box channel. If you're interested to see who I get inside, then make sure that you go over there and subscribe, because otherwise, it's gonna be no tea for you. That was really lame and cheesy, but it's all good. That's the end of that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's surprise. I know I did. I've been waiting forever to share that with you. If you know somebody who would enjoy today's video, then please share this one with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below 
Oh no, you can't. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun videos that I post, whether they be on this channel or that one. But of course, first you'd have to subscribe to that one. And over here is Grady Toy Box. That's what I'm referring to. Go subscribe to it. Okay, that's all, that's all. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Wait, I gotta leave in style. <sighs> husband, husband, bring me grapes. Someone must feed me grapes. <laughs>